introduce us a little bit to these characters and talk about the bond that really shows through on screen. These are four guys who have known each other since they were little kids from the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. When you, doesn't mean you're from the same school, doesn't mean you're the same class, it means you're in the same neighborhood, which means you'd look out for each other, you take care of each other, and you probably hang out together every single day. You have Billy, who's really the boldest, bravest, brashest of the group. You have Patty, who's kind of a little tough kid, um, who, now Billy and Patty are both uh, in love with the same little girl named Sophie. Um, you have uh, Archie, who is really more the noble, sweet uh, caretaker of the group. And you have Sam, who's a mess, but is funny and has got a good heart and a good sense of humor. Uh, those four kids grew up to be those four adults. What about Vegas? Could this have been done anywhere else? Or Impossible. You... Impossible. Could not have made this movie. We could not have made this movie anywhere except for Las Vegas. There is such a uh, an energy, an atmosphere, and a physical reality to Vegas that you can't find anywhere. We could not have made this movie anywhere except Vegas. Vegas is both this incredibly inviting place that draws you in, that makes you want to come to see the architecture, the restaurants, the gambling, the dancing, the young men and women, <laughs> all of that. But when you get here, it's also a very intimidating place, a place where you can very easily feel small. And so the goal in Vegas is to be treated like a high roller, to become big, to become important. So everyone who comes here wants to get that feeling. The other reason we had to shoot in Vegas is that no other place has the history Vegas has, where you, at, in 2013, want to go because it's the coolest place in the world, and in 1962, you wanted to go because it was the coolest place in the world. How did you manage to round these four up? I mean, it couldn't be more perfect. Their chemistry, never been done before. The best way to get four great actors is to have one great script. Once they read that script, they say, wow, I can do that. That's a part for me. That's a great movie. I want to be in it. Then once one of these great actors signs up, in this case, it was Michael Douglas, the other guys say, OK, this movie's for real. I'd love to work with Michael. The next guy signs up. Now it becomes a, a series of dominoes. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Morgan's dance moves. Ah. Those were some pretty great scenes. Do you think anybody else could have done that? Why, why Morgan? The reason I loved it being Morgan, who let loose on the dance floor, is that's a Morgan Freeman we've never seen before. Yeah. Morgan is a joyous, funny, kind of silly guy, actually, who we think of as this very uh, serious actor filled with gravitas and importance. Um, so to see that serious guy let loose, have that smile on his face and start dancing felt really perfect to me. It did, and it, it comes through. Well, you kind of touched on this earlier, but if somebody had never been, never heard of Vegas, never been to Vegas, three words to describe it. Biggest, best, sexy. <laughs> and lastly, what can audiences expect to take from this film? When they stop laughing, they're gonna be bringing home with them this affection for the friends they've had in their life and the honesty and truth that you share with your friends. You're gonna to wanna to get in touch with your oldest friends and just know that those people will always have a special place in your life.